A stunning new revelation out of the fraud trial of Elizabeth Holmes today. The Theranos founder told the court that she was a rape victim when she was a student at Stanford University. She says that is what propelled her to start her blood testing company. Holding back tears, she testified, I was raped when I was at Stanford, and I decided to leave to, to pour myself into building Theranos. I was going to build a life by building this company. She says she then got into a relationship with Sonny Balwani, her former longtime boyfriend, former president of the company, and now co-accused. She testified he said she was safe now that she met him, but she said that, too, that he, too, abused her. Balwani has denied that. CBC Scott Cohn outside the courthouse in San Jose tonight. Scott? Shep, court has just wrapped up for the day, an intense day, as you recounted. Elizabeth Holmes could be leaving at any time now. This was indeed a different Elizabeth Holmes than we have seen or anybody has seen in public before. Emotional, frequently breaking down uh, and revealing or claiming that the Elizabeth Holmes that we came to know, the deep voice, supremely confident persona, was in fact a desperate attempt to please her abusive boyfriend at the time, Sonny Balwani, the chair of Theranos chief operating officer. Through tears, she recounted that she had dropped out of Stanford, not just because of her dream to revolutionize health care, but because she claims she had been raped in college and wanted to rebuild her life by building a company. And that is when she turned to Balwani, who is 20 years her senior. She met him while in high school. He's a successful businessman, and she asked him for help, but she says he took advantage of her, becoming a sort of Svengali, controlling her diet, her clothing, and yes, even her voice. He told me that I didn't know what I was doing in business, that my convictions were wrong. He was astonished by my mediocrity. And she says he told her that in order for her to be a success, I needed to kill the person who I was and create a new Elizabeth. She says that Balwani also frequently forced himself on her sexually to uh, prove, he says, that he still loved me. Asked by her attorney, Kevin Downey, if she was claiming that Balwani forced her to make the statements that she did to journalists, investors, and business partners, she said no, but at the same time, he impacted everything about who I was. Now, Balwani, through his, his attorneys, has denied abusing Holmes. He does face his own trial, 12 criminal counts scheduled to go on trial next year. Tomorrow, it is the government's turn, cross-examination cross-examining Elizabeth Holmes on four days of testimony in which she, which she blamed a lot of other people, but saved the worst for Sonny Balwani. And as you see, Elizabeth Holmes now about to come out of the courtroom. We will uh, see if we can get a question to her. She is going the other way. But Elizabeth Holmes wrapping up a, uh, an intense day in the courtroom. Uh, difficult day for her. Interesting to see how that connects with the jury. And again, tomorrow, the delicate task that the government has, Prosecutor Robert Leach, of cross-examining her, they do expect, Shep, that they will be able to get through that cross-examination in a day. And then we go through a long break. There's no court the rest of the week or next Monday. The jury will then come back with Holmes back on the stand next Tuesday. Back to you. Scott Cohn, thank you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.